Hello and hi there. It is nice to meet you. I am a U.S. Navy veteran and I wanted to give you a little tip here about self-defense as the military sees it. I, I don't know that this is the same in every state, um, but I do know that this is how I would view my own personal self-defense and how it would play out in a situation like this. You have what's called the deadly force triangle. Opportunity, capability, and intent. If all three of those are met, then deadly force is authorized. If any one of those is not there, then deadly force is not authorized. So if the other person showed that they have the opportunity to cause um, bodily harm, injury, or death, great bodily harm, injury, or death, um, they have the opportunity to do that, that qualifies as one. If they have the intent to do that, it qualifies as two. And if they have the capability of doing that, that calls for all three. So, for example, if you got a really old guy who is pissed off, he hates your guts, he's cussing at you, he's rolling up on you with his wheelchair, and you climb up on some steps, he might have the intent and opportunity to do harm to you, but he does not have the capability to do that. Therefore, you can't turn around and use a gun against him. So this person having a prior history, I would use the same mentality as if I was fighting a really, really big guy who is unarmed, but is really big, or that I know is like a black belt in karate. If that person comes charging at me, they're getting shot. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I know they have the capability, and if they're charging at me, they have the intent, and if they have the opportunity and they're going after me, then all three of those are there and I'm shooting. I'm sorry. That's just, that's my self-defense. That's how I'm going at it. So, yes, I can say that uh, if all three of those are met, then the guy had the right to shoot him. Um, I think it kind of falls in the same idea and mentality of the Trayvon Martin case. Um, <coughs> I do believe that Zimmerman had the, the right to shoot the kid, but I feel like he put himself in a desperately wrong situation that he never should have been at in the first place. And if he hadn't have been there, things wouldn't have gone south. If he had have stayed away, if he'd have minded his own business, then things wouldn't have been there. And I believe, I, I believe that somebody who does that should be charged in some way. Now, if if he just was circumstance was just there and then something hit the fan and crap sort of going on, then you have the right to defend yourself and others around you from great bodily harm, or d death, or injury. Um, with that said, I don't know. This is one of those situations that everything seems screwed up on all angles of the, the possibilities here, and I don't know how it should go out.